Hey guys, welcome to this week's workout. This is the first workout I've done in like over a week, so I'm a little bit nervous. The only type of exercise I've done this week is walking. So I guess I'm probably gonna be quite sore after this workout, after a wee bit of time off. But I'm gonna show you the exercises we've got today. We have got five to do and then we're going to finish up with some abs at the end. So each exercise is going to be 30 seconds long and we're going to have a quick 10 seconds just to get our breath back to get ready to enter that next, next exercise again. So the first exercise we've got is a squat with a kick. So we're going to squat down and then we're going to kick out to the side, squat back down, kick out to the side. All right, so just taking your time with it and really getting a nice high kick, getting your balance, kicking it up, back down and kick. From there, we're going straight into bum kicks. So we're just bringing the heels up to kick the bum. Then we're going to go down onto the floor and do a bit of core and arms. So we're going to do a plank. And from that plank, we're going to go down into our elbows and then back up into our hands. Try and keep your body as still as you can and alternate your arms as you go. Then we are going to do another bit, ninja walks. So we're going to be on all fours with our knees just an inch off the floor. And what we're going to do is walk to the side. And don't let your knees touch the floor. I want you to be as quiet as you can. Walk to the other side again. I'll show you the side action. So you're just in this kind of all fours position. What people normally do when it gets too hard is they lift the bum up. So keep the knees just below, just that much off the floor and then keeping yourself in this nice square position. We're not kind of up here, not kind of over here or up here. So we've got a nice little box position there. Then we have got a um, really hard one. It's like a high knee, but it's a high knee side to side. So we're pretty much going, I'm going to try and start without thinking about it and without watching myself on camera. So it's pretty much like high knee, high knee, each side, kind of like a skater lunge. So you're kind of jumping each side, but a wee bit wider, so it's quite tough. Pretty challenging, but that's the plan of the workout. So we're gonna do all five of it, four, five of them, three times, three rounds, and then we're gonna do the abs. As you can see, I'm tired and it's only the warm up. <laughs> so we shall get ready to rock. So straight away, squat kick. Let's do it, so squat down, give me a kick, squat down for the middle and kick. Nice and hard, nice and high to the side and you'll feel it working the outer bum. No resting in between, into each exercise, oh each kick. Don't stand up and relax, just keep moving. Good, 10 seconds done. Oh, butt kicks. I think I showed you butt kicks, did I? Can't remember. Let's go. Kick the bum as fast as you can. Kind of like you're running on the spot. And I want you to kick those hands. It's not just running. All right, get the heels right up. Steady. 
You really feel this in your arms, your legs, and your core. Good, well done. All right, we're gonna get up and we're gonna do side to side high knees. And it's too hard just to do normal high knees. Let's go. Really working a lot of the butt, arms, and core today. Fast as you can.
Okay, let's go. Kick those hands. Control that drop. Whew. Good work. Ninja walks. Let's do it. Little baby steps, don't make a sound. Oh, horrible exercise. Those high knees are going to be the end of me. Oh, let's do it though, get them done. Let's do it. again so that you can join in with me so <laughs> enjoy the rest <coughs> we're going to do light bases options are one at a time or the two nice and slow and steady pull them back up again slower you go the better from there we're going to go down and we're going to do scissors so they're just crossing over each other just an inch off the floor, that bottom foot. From there, hands up over the head, and we're gonna crunch up as high as you can. So crunch up, and back down. Oh, really tough to get that high with that exercise. So we don't need to move from here, we can just lie down and torture the tummy. Right. I'm a bit annoyed my workout has not worked on my watch so it's not counted that as a workout and swim right legs up stopwatch on same again 30 seconds and one for two legs down we go nice and slow back up take your time Nice and slow, all the way down, back up. Good, 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go straight into those scissor kicks. Right, let's go. Crossing them over between each other. Keeping them down, 
Don't worry if you've got a little curve in your back, it's going to happen. You can always put your hands under your butt if it helps with the pressure. Take your time. Good. Hands behind the head. And we're going to crunch. Up we go, high as you can. Back down. Okay, imagine it's your belly button and your boobs trying to touch each other. We're not just flinging ourselves up, okay? Just the boobs to the belly button. And because your hands are stretched up, it's putting your abs into a weaker position, which makes it a lot harder to get up than they would be if they were down here. Okay, back to the leg raises. Same again. Let's do it. Drop them down nice and slow, hold at the bottom, pull them back up again. Keep those legs straight. All right, good. Scissors. Right, let's go. a lot harder than it looks. Oh my god, that's so tough. Alright, hands behind the head. Up we go, last exercise. Up and squeeze. Keep these hands where your ears are. think <laughs> such a simple change would make something so hard. Oh. Oh, good. Done. Finished. Hope you enjoyed it. I am very sweaty after that. Um, anything you can do, let me know and I'll speak to you all soon. Well done.